And Central Heights Water System is transitioning to be operated by the Angelina and Neches River Authority. Kateri's Mariela Gonzalez explains what customers may expect during the process. This is going to be a multi-month transition to go from where we are today to where we need to be. Angelina and Natchez River Authority General Manager Kelly Holcomb says everything north of U.S. Route 259 and U.S. Highway 59 intersection of the Central Heights water system is now operated by ANARA. They will serve 380 new customers. This system is a small portion of Nacogdoches' much larger water system. Holcomb says customers will see ANARA service units in the area for the next two weeks as they transition away from the city of Nacogdoches. We're going to spend more time looking, documenting, GPSing valves, I mean, doing all the things that you have to do as a utility. Holcomb says in recent weeks, the majority of water quality complaints they have received include low water pressure and brown color water. So our initial process is to go find where these issues are taking place, see what remedies can be immediately brought to bear. Holcomb explained customers will see rates will go up. Depending on water usage, residential customers can expect to see an increase of $30 to $40 on their monthly bill. Holcomb says the increase amounts pay for improvement costs. Customer service applications are expected to be sent out next week, says Alcom, to collect correct billing information. The water plant located off County Road 104, Alcom says ANRA will work on doubling its capacity to serve the growing population and upsizing water lines along U.S. Highway 259. Hopefully summer, fall of 2025, two years from now, people are noticing those improvements that we've been making. Mariela Gonzalez, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Now, ONRA says the first bill will be sent out before November 1st. For more information about the transition, you can go to the Big Red Box on our website. There you will find a link directly to ONRA's customer guide.